every once in a while, we come across a glitch that absolutely changes gold grinding forever. And when I came across this Reddit post right here, I think it's safe to say we found one of those. I mean, he just clicks a jet and he absolutely takes off at the speed of sound. Now, first and foremost, I want to give a massive shout out to Exterminator for actually posting this to the Reddit. I have no clue if he is the absolute first person to ever find this, but he's the first person to ever show me. So, I mean, that means something. So, yeah, the only thing we need to do to actually activate this glitch is simply place a hinge. Then, guys, this is, I mean, it's absolutely nuts. You just place a jet and obviously you want to sit on it. So, we're going to place a chair and that's it. This is all you need to do. You just activate the jet and within no time, you start taking off at the speed of sound. Now, my guy, he actually didn't even show himself um, heading towards the end. Uh, obviously, I just hit some rocks. You can still hit stuff. So, yeah, it's not like it's like a client sided glitch that, that's only visual. Like, no, you are actually traveling insanely fast. You can even go through walls. I mean, it's bonkers. So, yeah, I want to see if I actually can harness this glitch <laughs> and turn it into a device that you just sit down, you press a button, and it literally delivers you to the end. And you know what? I think we might very well be able to do this. Now, uh, to be able to set this up here, what we're going to actually have to do is I think we're going to have to head up a little bit because currently we are, of course, hitting the wall. Or sorry, hitting the rocks. So let's see. We're going to place a portal right here at the start so that way it's not going to cause any issues. There you go. All right, then here we go. Let's see if we can actually set this up up here and in turn actually make it to the end and earn a bunch of gold. Now, for some reason, I have a feeling that it's going to be a bit more difficult to actually get dropped off exactly and at the end than I might think it is because, uh, yeah, the amount of speed that you actually have is kind of insane, okay? All right, then here we go. An anchor everything and let's set off. <laughs> And I wonder how long it's actually going to take for us to reach the end. Oh, boy. Yeah, dude. Oh, my God, dude. Wait. Oh, the amount. We passed it so quickly. We passed it so fast. Now, what actually happens is if you go out far enough, it actually starts uh, kind of like glitching out. And like, it's like super weird right now. But yeah, um, we, we passed the end very, very quickly. <laughs> All right, now I want to see what happens if we actually activate the jet and then unactivate it. Like, are we going to just stop in the place we're at? All right, here we are back at the beginning. So here, we're going to make a couple of changes. So we're actually going to add a couple of delay blocks right here. So we're going to add one delay right there. And we're going to link that to the jet. And we're going to add a lever as well. And we're also going to connect that to the jet. So after, let's say about five seconds. After about five seconds, everything turns off. All right, let's see what happens. Here we go. We start activating and... Oh, we take it off. We're taking it off. We're taking it off. Off. You start getting pulled back. Oh, interesting. Okay, let me actually set this like 10 seconds. Okay, here we go. 10 seconds. Let's see. Are we even gonna go? Oh, we started going. Wait, what? It, this time it like took way longer to start going. Wait, is this like not consistent? Okay, I made the delay 10 seconds here. Let's see. Okay, wait. Oh, uh, not everything's actually... Okay. <laughs> I forgot to anchor the whole thing. All right, here we go. Try that one more time. Okay, this time it started going way earlier for sure. Okay, so we're actually going at max speed now and you can pretty much stop in place whenever you decide to turn the jet off. Dude, this is amazing. If we can figure out the perfect timing, we can pretty much get delivered at the end. Oh, boy. Oh, this actually gets me really excited, guys. Okay, so let's reload the whole thing. Okay, so we're definitely gonna need more delay than, that we, than what we have right now. So let me set this one to max. Just like, what's the max? Okay, the maximum is 10. Let's try 10. Okay, here we go. Okay, now, because we're going so fast, yeah, we can't actually react. Okay, we were too late. But yeah, we can't actually react to when we are supposed to, like, stop flying. Like, it's just too fast. Okay, now, this is the first time I'm actually gonna make some changes to the design. I have a couple ideas that I actually think would work quite well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a glue block right there on top of the, the hinge. And then I'm going to place another glue block right there, connecting this whole thing to the actual base. And then we're going to just rebuild the same design. Okay, there you go. Now, the reason I've done this is now what we can actually do immediately, we can actually delete that glue block right there, which means that the whole thing is unanchored. So I don't have to actually manually unanchor it every, every single time anymore. We not got to make sure not to activate the glue block. Okay, then we activate the jet. And then like a certain amount of time later, we got to unactivate the jet. So let's just play it safe and make it like uh, 10 seconds for now. Okay, so we turn off the jet after about 10 seconds. And then we can actually enable that blue block. Yes. So yeah, pretty much what's going to happen is this bottom... Okay, here, I'll actually do it. So yeah, pretty much first things first, the moment I click the lever, this bottom glue block... Glue block? Glue block gets deleted. Then we activate the jet with the glue block and the chair. And then a little while later, we actually delete uh, the, the glue block and the jet 
death gets turned off. So we actually kind of start free falling. I want to see what this does. Are we going to just keep flying around? <laughs> All right. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. Activate the lever. So, okay. We started going. Oh, it's very slowly taken off. But okay, we're going now. And in the same second, the jet and the glue block should get deleted. Oh, wait, what? Ah, what? <laughs> Wait, I didn't plan that. What? Oh my God. And am I going to get the gold? There's no way that that like perfectly worked out there. Oh my God. One golden block for me and a hundred gold. Oh my God. Okay, I don't get max gold, but that's fine because this is way faster than anything else I've ever done. Are you kidding me? I, I, I'm going to try that again just to make sure it wasn't a fluke. Okay, so we start going. Okay, so is it going to do the same exact thing this time? What? It works! It totally works! Dude, I can't believe it! It totally works! I was still trying to figure out how this mechanic works. Dude, the fact that this is working this well. I mean, honestly, it kind of blows my mind. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try to see if I can make a small improvement because currently I can see one bit of a challenge. So currently we are kind of like skimming the roof of the actual uh, stages. And what's going to happen is, for example, if we get the, the crystal stage, there's a bunch of uh, obstacles there and we could actually die. So what if we actually added in a minigun? I mean, we might as well try, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in another delay that's going to start after about five seconds. I'll place that one right here. So that one goes right there. That one goes right there. And here, we'll activate this after about five seconds. So yeah, currently there's obviously only one minigun. We could stack them up if this is working really well. I just want to know if this is still going to work. Okay, so everything starts off the same. Okay, so we're starting to leave and any second now... Oh wait, it actually makes me... Okay, uh, we can turn off the uh, the aim. <laughs> oh wait, it totally sent us flying way further? Wait, we, we went way past it this time. Huh? I think maybe the actual weight of everything matters. Okay, that's actually kind of crazy. So what if I set the delay to this of this to about eight seconds? Is it still gonna break okay so any second now okay I'll, I'll, I'll i still have to turn on auto shoot but okay now it <laughs> now we're dropped off here and we are definitely gonna die okay okay turn off the auto uh the the aiming okay yeah it's definitely broken now okay let's just get rid of the minigun all right this time around we have no minigun is this just perfect like i almost kind of can't believe it like it's that easy to build all you need is one wood block actually you don't even need the wood block really a hinge two butter blocks a jet and a chair and you can literally get to the point of just sitting down flicking a lever and you just make it to the end how is this possible if this does, if, it, if this still works i mean this is the craziest glitch in, in the game oh oh Wait, wait, it totally overshot this time. Did we have a fluke? Oh, okay, wait, this time it only barely missed. Okay, I think we're gonna have to change the delay ever so slightly. So it drops us off a little bit earlier. Maybe like change the delay to 9.9 .9 or maybe like 9.8. And I think if we do that, we can get to the point of making it to the end every single time. Okay, set it to 9.8 this time. Let's try this out. No, no minigun, because the minigun, the game didn't like the minigun. <laughs> I guess maybe it's also a bit laggy and that, that might be a reason why. Okay, ah! this is too early okay this is just too early <laughs> Okay, we're dead. All right, this time around 9.9, .9, um, only a 0.1 second less than we had before. And hopefully this drops us off like literally right before the end. Oh my God, wait, wait, what? Wait, huh? Wait, there's army battle stages in the game? Wait, there's army battle stages in the game. I didn't even realize. <laughs> okay, somehow we absolutely got propelled back to the beginning. I think I actually know why. I think we actually stopped moving forward right inside of the rock that, uh, that is at the end there. So let's actually do 9.95, little bit further. Alrighty then, here we go. Hopefully this is the one. And it's the one. This is what I wanted to see. We get dropped off perfectly at the end. As if we've actually done this. And not just cheated our way here. Oh, that is filthy. That's disgusting. Oh, Yeah, guys, I think it's safe to say that this might be the cheapest and easiest to build glitch in the entire game because all you need to do is get to the end one time and from then on out for 4,000 gold, you can buy red jets and all the other stuff is like 50 gold and like, what's a butter block worth? Actually, I don't think you can buy butter blocks right now. Oh, wait, no, yeah, you can. You can get them inside of the legendary chest. So yeah, uh, pretty much if you get a legendary chest, like you have a good chance of actually getting the butter block. It's crazy. Well, guys, with that, I think it's safe to say we have the new best glitch, and uh, I'm gonna be ending off today's video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and like the video if you like these kinds of videos. And I'll see you later, boys. Peace!